Well, good afternoon. Are you guys having some fun? Yes? Um, well, I'm just thrilled to be with you today. Um, I know you just heard about college applications. In the last three years, I've had two nieces and a nephew go through that process, and all of them are in STEM fields, and I'm so proud of them for where they've ended up. Two of them in North Carolina schools, great place to go to school. Um, I'm Congresswoman Deborah Ross, as you heard from the second congressional district in North Carolina, which is in the research triangle where we have, again, really good schools. And I want to thank everyone for coming to this wonderful event today and wish, again, a congratulations to all the winners of this year's Congressional App Challenge. All of you have showcased extraordinary dedication and visionary talent, creating new projects that will benefit Americans in communities all across the country, and sometimes benefit people around the world. I'd also especially like to congratulate Abhishek Shah, this year's winner from my district. Abhishek is an 11th grader from Green Level High School in Cary, North Carolina. His innovative app, Oral Studio, helps the blind and visually impaired become computer programmers by bridge, bridging the visual code into audio for them to hear. Thank you to Abhishek for your incredible work on this project and for your commitment to making the STEM industry more inclusive and accessible to everyone because talent and innovation have no boundaries. As a member of the House Committee on Science, Space, and Technology, I'm proud to see so many young people who are already becoming leaders in cutting edge research and innovation. And I hope your experience has taught all of you that the possibilities and opportunities created by a STEM education go far beyond the classroom. You are our future computer programmers, engineers, professors, and researchers researchers that will help us solve the climate crisis and develop innovative solutions to our most pressing problems. You represent the future of problem solving, not just here, but around the world. This competition wasn't easy, and every participant has gone above and beyond, thinking outside of the box for solutions to local, national, and global issues. I hope that you will take what you've learned from this competition to inspire and guide your future education and ultimately your careers. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics give us a lens to see the world in a different light. And STEM gives us the ability to tackle the real pressing challenges facing the world today. And most importantly, it empowers us to craft a better world for tomorrow. And with bright students like all of you, I know we're prepared to ha handle the challenges of the 21st century. Again, congratulations to everyone for all that you've already accomplished, and I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Thanks so much for letting me be with you today.